In this video, we'll give you a breakdown of which asset classes were popular across the Australian ETF industry for the quarter and our top three funds in terms of flows. When we're referring to flows, we're referring to the net investment made into ETFs. January saw global equities rally on hopes of receding inflation and a soft landing for the US economy. Then the collapse of a number of banks overseas in March sent shutters through the market and reset rate hiking expectations much lower. However, as the banking situation stabilized, equity indices have rebounded. Fixed income continued to perform well as government bond yields fell. Here's a breakdown of ETF industry flows by different asset class. Fixed income and cash saw large volume traded with over $1 billion invested. Given the volatility and uncertainty in equities, many investors are parking capital in defensive assets that now offer attractive income. Australian equities saw $677 million of inflows for the quarter, recovering well after $38 million of net outflows for January. Both commodities and currencies saw outflows for the quarter. Here are the funds that got the largest flows from our own product suite. Number one, BetaShares Australian High Interest Cash ETF, ASX code AAA. Rate hikes have meant that the yield on AAA has risen substantially over the last year and a bit. At the start of 2022, AAA was yielding 0.17%. As at the 14th of April, 2023, it's now yielding 3.69%. This drew significant flows as investors sought out certainty in times of uncertainty. AAA holds cash on deposit across a panel of banks and receives institutional interest rates, helping it garner $250 million worth of flows over the quarter and placing it number one across the ETF industry. Number two, BetaShares Australia 200 ETF, ASX code A200. In February, we dropped fees on one of our largest ETFs, A200, from seven basis points to only four basis points. This made A200 the world's cheapest Australian equity exposure and investors responded. A200 was the number one Australian ETF for flows in March, even beating AAA for the month and had $175 million worth of net inflows for the quarter as a whole. Number three, BetaShares Australian X20 Portfolio Diversifier, ASX code X20. Our X20 ETF provides exposure to the largest 200 companies on the ASX, but excluding the top 20. Many investors saw intense competition in the Australian mortgage market and bank stress overseas as a reason to lighten their load or exposure to the Australian banking sector, and X20 provides a solution for those looking to do so. It received $84 million worth of net inflows for the quarter. Thanks for watching this video. We'll see you next quarter.